what it is, what it is, uh, live posse, you know what I'm saying, um, Ryan Anthony with another one, man, I've been supposed to make a couple of video, videos, I'm supposed to, uh, make a little, some little workout shorts, man, I've been, I've been slacking, I've been slacking, uh, I'm at the gym right now, I'm gonna blow off some steam, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like uh, this, 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 this historic fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, Terence Crawford and uh, Earl Spence, bro. Like, like if you pick Spence, if you pick Spence, bro, and then you get to talking to, not 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 people who pick Terence Crawford and they are fans of they the fans of both fighters and they but they just happen to feel like Terence Crawford was the better fighter and and, and um they they thought he was he was going to pull it out even those fighters like man even the ones who saw that they they, they thought uh only way Crawford could win is by by knockout even those people didn't really see him winning no decision same with me I feel like I'm picking Spence but I'm I'm going by all right, turn, I know I know turns Crawford I'm watching his dominating performance I'm I go by when I do study when I study film, I go by their best performances and see. I right, when they in a if they bring their A game, what it look like for the other opponent. You know what I'm saying? And some of his dominating performances, Terrence Crawford, the fighter still got something off. You know what I'm saying? Some rounds, you know, some rounds, some rounds. They got a little something off. Earl couldn't do nothing, and I feel like Earl was a better fighter than them. I think he could he could put push he could push the uh pace and and people forget that he's an Olympian. He was already when he came out of the Olympics. Everybody was saying that he was going to be the one that do great things in the sport. Like people forget that. Like, but Terrence Crawford fanatics. What they call them, the Bud Buddies? Man, they just, like, it's hard talking to them. You could tell that they casual. They just a fan of Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell them nothing. And you, you can even reason with them. Like, like, like man, Earl, I ain't giving no, I'm, I'm one of them. I ain't giving no excuses. Like, man, I picked wrong. Like, man, I ain't, I ain't, I'm shocked. I ain't see that coming from Smith. I ain't even see that dominating performance coming from Terrence. Like, he ain't let him get nothing out. Like, you can tell they was in that film room. Like, his his trainers was in that film room, and they and they got him ready for every mistake that Earl Spence threw out there, and he saw every last one of them. And, and I knew he had a wrestling background, but I just thought, because I, 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 I'm currently in Omaha right now, you know what I'm saying? So, and, um, my son, you know, he was uh he was getting lessons in that gym. And I, I would see Terrence Crawford. And I'm like, man, he he got them long ass arms, but I'm like, man, he kinda little, man. Which I'm a little dude too, so it, it kinda made me want to go for him. But I'm like, man, Earl Spence a big dude, man, and then they gonna put that weight back on. I don't know. I don't know. But I know he know how to wrestle. But I'm just saying, like, when it get it started getting get a little tussle. Maybe it may tire tire uh uh turns Crawford down and Earl this this where Earl work rate kick in. You know what I'm saying? Once he see he got you a little little winded, that's where his work rate kicking in. I just that's what made me pick. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna go but but turns a dog. So they gonna go back and forth. And I just, and I and I thought that Earl could take a punch. I knew whoever couldn't take it. Whoever couldn't take the other person's punch, I knew it was gonna be it, 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 it was gonna be a little yeah, it was gonna get real dark. But I just saw both of them taking each other punch. It was gonna be give and take. But I just didn't see Terrence Crawford getting no uh decision. I didn't, and I thought it was gonna go all 12 rounds, and I thought they was gonna lean towards Earl Spence and the and, and the business was gonna play into it, even if a lot of people felt like turns would have won. I felt like they was gonna lean towards Spence anyway. First of all, this Vegas, this kind of Earl Spence world, 
um, he in a bigger market and he's more, he probably more the, the marketable person. I feel like, yeah, they was going to lean towards him. That's, you know, I'm, if you play all that, I'm playing all that. I'm, I'm putting all that in the count. I'm a boxing fan. I'm putting all that into the count. So I'm like, yeah, I, I, I lean towards Spence. If it make it all 12 rounds, I think they're going to give it to Spence. Even if it's controversial, they're going to give it to Spence and they're going to make it where they got to do it again. You know what I'm saying? So I had split decision, Spence way. That's what I said. But giving credit to Turns, I know he not finna. I ain't think it was gonna be no knockout. I'm like, man, I don't see him knocking no turns out. I don't see turns stopping him. You know what I'm saying? But got in there, hey, turns dismantled him. It was shocking. I ain't see turns having putting on that type of performance. I thought he would start. It, it, it would be slower. He'd be having, you know what I'm saying, little mishaps and overshooting and you know, uh, you know, kind of. Missing a point at times, and I thought Earl, both both of them kind of, even though uh, Turns had like a, Turns had, he had a fight, that David Avenesian fight, but it took him a while to turn on in that fight, so I'm thinking like, and that, that fight was long ago, so, you know, I'm, I'm like, the layoff, both of them, I think both of the rust, the, the rust gonna kind of show probably about seven, eighth, ninth round. That's when it's gonna start to kick up, and and I thought it was gonna lead to a decision. You know what I'm saying? Twelve rounds, but it it, it didn't. It was wrong. It was he dominated. It was wrong. I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And you could tell a a turns Crawford fanatic that like yeah 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 man the speed killed him. Um, his timing was perfect, and all them um them uh mistakes that. Earl Spence is used to getting away with. He ain't let him get away with none of that. That's what got him. I'm not. I, I don't care about the weight drain. Ooh, they expect you to come with the excuse. I'm not finna come with no excuse. I'm a. I'm a boxer fan. I just so happen to pick Spence. I'm not dismissing Terrence Crawford uh, abilities or none of that. I just so happen to pick Spence, and I could break down why I picked him. They can't break down nothing while they. Oh man, he knock. He 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 knock all everybody out. He knock everybody out. He gonna win. He knock everybody out. Like, and you know what I'm saying. And then when you and then when you surrender, capitulate, like they still wanna tell you. Oh no no man no man you wrong you wrong you wrong. It wasn't the speed. It wasn't the speed. It wasn't the timing. None of that. He was pressing them. Like he didn't even turn his cross up. He didn't even press him. He didn't have to press him. He stood right in that mid range and made and let and let Earl make all the mistakes. And he capitalized on everything, counter punching everything. He didn't have to press him. Only time he pressed him was like the eighth or ninth round. Of course, he pressed him in the ninth when he he, he know he had him. He had him hurt, but he pressed he pressed him one time in the eighth round. And then he stopped. He went back to the center of the ring. And went on and pick and, and, and went on ahead and picked apart Earl. You know what I'm saying? But they they so quick. To t no no no. It wasn't no speed. It wasn't no. They just want to disagree with you so bad just because they so happy that they picked the right fighter to win that night. That I that's I, man. It just this boxing stuff get an, annoying with casuals, bro. It, it it it's annoying when big fights like this. You hear a whole bunch of casuals come in the mix, man, and then they act like they know boxing, and you and you know what I'm saying. And if they just so happen to pick right, man, they just feel like they know everything, man. It is annoying, bro. It's annoying. It is annoying, man. And that's why I made my channel the the broaden. The fight game like it's not just only Earl Spence that fights Terrence Crawford that fights it's not just uh the middleweight Jamel Charlos of the world it ain't it ain't just those fighters that you heard Devin Haney's the tanks it's other fighters out there that make great fights man they don't talk about this shit so that's why I made my channel to broaden it Let's talk about the people over in England. My dude, Joe Cordina. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the little weights, like, like uh, Luis Alberto Lopez. Let's talk about them. Those still great fighters. Them turns Crawford fanatics can't tell you nothing about them. And that's what's annoying. That is what, anno that's what annoys the hell out of me because y'all don't even watch the sport. Y'all just watch certain fighters and y'all hear a bunch of shit on social media and then y'all think y'all know everything. Y'all don't. Shut up. Just shut up. You don't know nothing. Shut up. You got you got the fight right. You you picked the right fighter. Good job. 
You can't tell me why you picked him. You can't even break down the fight. All you can see is uh, Terrence Crawford was whooping his ass. You can't tell me what he was doing. You can't tell me the mistakes that uh, Earl Spence was making. Oh, you can, man, shit. Spence, 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 ain't, Spence ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. He was going to get his ass whooped. Anyway. Annoying, bro. I'm finna get in this gym, bro. Blow off some steam, man. Hey, y'all know what to do, bro. Ryan Anthony, I'm out.